on Monday, Cho Sung Hu killed 32 people and then killed himself. Uh, sent a video to NBC and uh, about why he did it. I think uh, it happened. What he did, it happened. Of course, there's there's no denial. He he killed, murdered a bunch of people. Everyone's capable of it. And he was someone that chose to do it, so he did it. I I'm sorry. I, uh, he, <sighs> he put it on video, so we see why he did it. it what, it's not this situation where, <sighs> oh, why, that poor guy, he must have been so isolated, why did he do it, why did he do it? told us why he did it. All these fucking distractions right now because I'm talking about something incredibly important. I know why he did it. He felt like Jesus Christ. He felt like he was isolated. He felt like he was... No one understood that he was crucified by society. These are his words. He felt like he was put up on a cross and left to die. He felt abandoned and isolated. Spiritually, he was shut off. He was closed off closed himself off without realizing it, or vice versa. In this video he says, you, he's speaking to, to the capitalist, your average capitalist, you did this to me, and he's really speaking to me, he's speaking to everyone that hears him. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to shut my phone off. Cho Sung Hyu. I would have connected with him well. Maybe I have connected with him because of this video of him speaking. Listen. Because he's put this on video... Because we see why he did this, because I just got up, I'm a little, Dominic was talking to me while I was talking a minute ago, and it was kind of disrupting my flow of, it won't, it won't, it won't happen again. If you watch this video, you'll never do it. If you understand why he did it, you'll never do it. Everyone should see his explanation of why he did this. He truly felt isolated. I think that in life there are two aspects of what we are. There's spirituality and um, an emotion and, and humanity. Spirituality and humanity. And at all times, there's a balance to both. You can either be, or there's a, there's a level of both. You can either be feeling love or fear, and you can be feeling balance or imbalance. And any one at any given time, you can be fearful but balanced. You can be feeling love but be imbalanced. I think if you're imbalanced and fearful, you do something extreme. But you can be balanced and feel love and do something like what Gandhi did. What I, I, I go to Gandhi a lot recently because he's, he was such a recent character in history and he was such a positive force for humanity. And I want to do that kind of thing. A human, he, he really, I don't know, he, he sought balance and love. Not balance and fear. So many people smoke weed all the time and are very spiritual, but don't confront the fear of their past, of women, men facing women, women facing men, confronting the unknown. And then the balance keeps us from doing things dangerous. 
you may want to overcome fear, but love, do everything, connect out of love, but you can't connect with everyone all the time. It's imbalanced. Balance and love. Balance and fear. They're, they're independent of each other. Cho Sung Hyu was imbalanced and fearful. So his fear became extreme. But we chose for this to happen. We chose for this to be the largest school shooting in U.S. history and for the gunman to make a video explaining why he did it so that it would get our attention so we can listen. The reason why people are going out and killing other people is because people are, because we, me, I, the individual, you, are afraid of walking up to someone on the street that you don't know and saying hello. And so there will be shootings. But when you take it, when you catch the pendulum in mid-swing, swinging, you catch it and just hold it as it's swinging back and let it swing, but hold on, hold on, hold it as it swings, as it pulls you, continue to hold it and eventually you'll stop it and then you can pull it and swing it back in the other direction. When the bus is flying towards the cliff, like Superman, you stand in front of it and you catch it and it pushes you back and pushes you back and pushes you back, but just hold it and then you'll get to the edge of the cliff and it'll stop the bus. And then you stop. You're not going to die from changing the way society is. You just, it's effort. It's an individual effort, but we can all do it. That's why we write these comics about Superman helping people, because we can. Just with our words, by, by opening up, by letting people, by connecting, by, by breaking people of their isolation actively. And this video from Cho has given me a new resolution, I think eye contact with people on the street, whether they look at me or not, and perhaps speaking to everyone I meet so at least there's some sort of growth. Something, just say something, just acknowledge either them, empower them, or the object that they're looking at. That's the thing, there's a duality of, for my whole life I played video games, Steve and I focused on the thing, the video game together. We both explored the thing, people do that a lot, like a book, two people talk about a book or a movie, or we can empower each other. I can look at a person and empower the person, but I never did that growing up. So that's what I'm doing now, and it's like I'm compensating. So I'm, I'm extreme in that direction, kind of, as I was extreme, like pretty extreme, not like super extreme, pretty extreme. The YouTube thing seems extreme because I'm just talking to a video, but like in my daily life, it's much like I'm normal. You know, I, I focus on the person more, but it's still pretty balanced. I like to talk about things, too, and like learn about things with people. But, but that's the thing is, it, that's irrelevant what I do uh, this is what I perceive myself to do but anyway I'm more extreme with people now than I used to be I, I focus on the people and I give people my, my empowerment rather than what they're doing and I think that's a shift that humanity needs to, to focus on because like we're, the humans were here first and then we built all this stuff and then we get lost in the stuff and we look around and we see people but we look past them because we think of them as art because there's, we see so many people, so many people and so many things, and we start to attribute the people that they're just things, but it's people. They're, if you, Travis said, when you wave, they wave back. How can we look over that? How can we look past that? They are capable of everything I'm capable, I'm capable of. This cup is not. The video games are not. The basketball is not. It's the people. The empowerment of the people. It's happening now, and YouTube is just a vessel for it, but I'm doing it in my life, in my reality, I'm putting it on camera so other people can see me do it and be inspired to do it, and I'm looking for people that are doing it so that they inspire me to do it, and together we make change.